I suggest serving in this order. You've got the two endpoints of your diameter. You start by finding the midpoint, which is the center of your circle. Then use your distance formula with the center and one of the endpoints because that's going to give you the radius. If you just did the distance formula with the two endpoints, then you're finding the length of the diameter and you're going to have to divide by two and then you've got to square it when you put it into your equation and it's just it's more work than you have to do. Um, it's a lot easier once you calculate the center, use the center and one of the endpoints. It doesn't matter which one. Um, I usually, just to keep it consistent for me, uh, I always use the first point that they gave. Okay? But either one should work. Um, they should give you the same distance, whether you use the first one or the last one with the center. Um, so I'm just going to do the first one just to keep things consistent. Okay? So, same process every single time. Start with the midpoint. Okay, that's going to give us the center. So I'm going to go ahead and label that as C for center. 10 plus negative 6 over 2. Negative 6 plus 10 over 2. Which in both cases, that gives us 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So our center is the point 2, 2. <clears throat> Yeah, I just yeah, I just do the first one. Um sorry, what, what? scroll up. I'm sorry. I thought she said something about the order. My bad. Okay. I'm tired. But I have a wedding date, so Wait. I'm coming for you. The barn is blueberry hill. Okay, so now we're going to use the distance formula. Now I'm going to go ahead and say D equals R, so I just keep it in, in my head that this distance is my radius. So that's the square root of, like I said, I just used the first point, 10 minus 2, the first point and my center. 10 minus 2 squared plus negative 6 minus 2 squared. Okay, so then I'm going to type in everything but the square root into my calculator. Okay. 10 minus 2 squared plus negative 6 minus 2 squared. And if you look at my calculator, you'll see that I did this in first period and I did it the other way, but you still get the same answer. Okay? So the radius is the square root of 128. So now we have everything that we need to compose our standard form equation x minus the x coordinate of the center. Be careful with that. Don't use one of the endpoints. You got to put the center coordinates in there. Y minus 2 squared is equal to r squared. So r is under a square root right now. When you square your square root, it just cancels. So it's equal to 128. So, not that complicated. You just got to remember the pieces. <clears throat> Let's do another one. And then I'm going to let you practice. So let's say our points are negative 4, 15, and negative 12, 9. So start with the midpoint, which gives us the center. Negative 4 plus negative 12 over 2. 15 plus 9 over 2. That gives us negative 16 divided by 2, negative 8. And 24 divided by 2, which is 12. Our center of our circle is the point negative 8. Positive 12. Distance equals the radius, which equals the square root of uh, negative 8 minus negative 4 squared plus 12 minus 15 squared. The order does not matter, guys. It doesn't matter whether you do the center minus the endpoint or the endpoint minus the center. You're going to get the same answer. Okay, you're going to get the same answer, and that answer is 25. Now, I do realize 25 is perfect square. But I'm going to turn around and square it. So what's the point in taking the square root if I'm going to turn around and square it again? So let's just do x plus 8 squared plus y minus 12 squared is equal to 25. Okay. Now, a um, little hint here. If you really want to check things, you've got two points right here that are supposed to be on the circle. So if you plug these coordinates in for x and y, plug them into the equation, they should equal 25. Both of these points, when you plug them in for 
x and y should equal 25. So that's one way that you can uh, check yourself uh, if you need to do that as well. Okay? So let's okay, say here's the center and here's a tangent line to the circle. So let's visualize what this is talking about. Let's just sketch this out really quickly. Um, negative 12, negative 4 is the center of our circle. That's the center right there. And then this circle is tangent to the line y equals negative 6. Now here's a good opportunity to review x equals and y equals. y equals is a horizontal line. Because think about what equations mean. It means that's the, it's representing those points. So any point on this line has the same y coordinate of negative 6. So our circle is tangent to that. Well, we've talked about tangent before, right? That means that it touches it at one point. So essentially what they've done is they've given us a point on the circle. But even more simple than that, we don't have to do the distance work, I guess. All we have to think about is, well, how far is the center of that line? So the center's at negative 4 for its y coordinate, and it's tangent to negative 6. That has a distance of 2. So it's very simple to write this equation. We've got the center, so x plus 12 squared plus y plus 4 squared. The radius is a length of 2, so that's equal to 3. Now, you don't have to go through and sketch every single one of these out. I wanted to show you <clears throat> what's going on, so then you'll just understand, oh, okay, I just need to compare the y values, see how far apart they are, that's the radius. Um, and to remind you, what it means to be tangent? We talked about tangent lines, uh, before we put things in the coordinate plane, but we can also talk about them in the coordinate plane. Uh, now, just for the sake of making sure that we understand what's going on, I am going to sketch this one out too. Negative 11, negative 8 is the center of this circle. So, eh, not exactly the scale, but we'll go with that. And it's tangent to x equals negative 7. x equals is a vertical line at negative 7, all of those points on that line have an x-coordinate of negative 7. They have various y-coordinates, but all of their x-coordinates are negative 7. So if we're tangent to that, we're touching it right here at this point, so what's the distance from the center to the line? 4. From negative 11, because now we're talking about x-values. Okay, now we're talking about x-values, because here's negative 11, and we're tangent to negative 7, so this radius is 4. So we've got x plus 11 squared plus y plus 8 squared is equal to 16 because we square the radius. So if you're tangent to a horizontal line, y equals, then you compare that line to the y coordinate of your center to figure out the length of your radius. Tangent to a vertical line, x equals, then compare it to your x coordinate to find the length of your radius. Okay, pretty simple. Just need to show you a couple of examples there, so practice with the rest of the problem.